Okay, today what we're going to do is we're going to talk about route choice in the mountains in winter and the extra decisions that we need to make to ensure that we have a safe day out in the hills. The ice axe I'm going to use to depict where the wind's coming from. So if I place that down here, the wind is coming from here and it is blowing in this direction, so towards me. Our choice of day is to come up to the Corricast car park. We should be able to drive up a road here and we're going to start from here. We're going to walk up around to this point, 1141, around over a couple of summits and return back to the Corricast car park. So, what do we need to do? What decisions do we need to take into account for that journey? If the wind is coming from this direction, so we've got a southwesterly, any snow that's fallen is going to be deposited on these northeasterly slopes. So on our journey coming up here, we're going to work our way up onto the ridge. And this ridge line here should be scoured and it's going to be a lot safer. We don't want to come up into this bowl in here and then work up the snow because that's going to be more avalanche prone and there's a good chance there'll be cornices lying around here. So we come up onto the ridge and we're going to come up to this point, 1141. The chances are here that we're going to get into some more exposed territory. So thinking about you know, clothing and equipment when we're in this environment will be really good. We're then going to walk along the ridge. This is a fairly easy angle slope, but we do need to be very careful that we're not getting too close to the edge. What we do just need to know is where the wind was you know, in days before. So it may have been coming from this direction and this slope might also be a little bit loaded. So keeping away from the edge is a good idea. We'll work our way around up onto the top of Stobcoyne and Snector and here. This is a big cliff here, so again, keeping away from the edge and being aware of where that is, is super important. Cornices could well develop in this environment here and we must be away from the edge. Walking down into a little coll here, so this is going to be a saddle and then along back up the slope and back onto Kenlochen. Again, this slope's pretty easy angle, so hopefully that will be nice. You know, it's not too steep, it's less chance of being avalanche prone, it should be under sort of 30, 35 degrees, so that's a definitely a safe environment to be in. Again, keeping away from the cliff. We're now working our way down and we're going to come down into this environment here. Hopefully this would be a fairly safe slope, but again, with any walking in winter, we need to you know, keep an eye on the, the snow conditions, so we would be looking to see how much snow there is in this area here, but we're walking down into this coal here. Again, there's a good chance that this will be cornice, so we don't want to get too close to the edge. And therefore, we need to ensure that we're, you know, we're skilled up. We can, we can walk on a bearing. We know a little bit about pacing. And we'll work down to this coal. At this point, we've got a decision to make. We, there's a footpath marked on the map here, and there's a footpath marked on the map coming down the ridge. In winter, these tracks are going to be completely covered in snow. So the chances are, we won't be able to see them. These streams, again, will be filled in. Um, we won't be able to see the stream, it's, but there's sometimes a little bit of a scoop, so something we need to be quite careful of there. But we don't want to go down this slope. What we do want to do is stay down on this ridge. This is going to be loaded with snow. It's pretty steep. Therefore, there's a good chance that that could be a hazardous bit of ground. We're going to come down this ridge. This, hopefully, will be a lot more scoured. The snow will be firmer and we'll be able to work our way down into this area where the angle is less steep. That will be a lot safer. But, you know, don't be complacent in this bit of ground. This can be a little bit complicated. The paths aren't there. The ground is a lot, you know, it's a lot flatter. They're gonna, the tracks are going to be covered in snow. So, you know, keep your wits about you as you're navigating along. You'll probably find that there's bigger streams will be marked on the map or they'll be a little on the ground and they'll be a little bit more obvious and you'll be able to see the ski resort, hopefully. And that's the end of the day. So in summary, everything's a little bit more challenging in winter. Make sure you get the weather forecast. Make sure you get an avalanche report. Be careful. If your ability is slightly less, then you need to build up slowly until you're skilled enough to make some more difficult decisions in winter. Stick to, stick to ridges. Make sure you know the wind speed and wind direction. Just remember, visibility could be really poor and we've got to think about cornices, steep edges, so 
just be you know, very careful in decisions that you make if you can't see where you're going and have a safe day out.